This operation is unlike anything these agencies have experienced. So who's the best vaccinator? Vaccination super site. And to meet the goal of 6,000 shots a day, it was going to take the best planning, the best logistics, and the best people. No one ever said, hey, I want to be in charge, because they realized really quickly, with over 700 people here, there's a lot to manage. It's a high octane mix of 17 different agencies. There's a huge potential, I think, for people not to get along. All had their own hierarchy, bosses, people underneath them. And these folks, you know, had to get along. And that uh, military structure that, you know, has its own hierarchy. The biggest uh, issue in coming here was we're used to being the only one on ground, being able to go forward, start a task, finish a task, and be with it every step of the way. A unified command was the answer, with Cal OES and FEMA at the helm. Both are experienced with working with different players and coordinating and co-managing incidents. So right away we co-located in the same trailer and we listened to each other's phone calls, conference calls, so we have really good uh, situational awareness. Thousands of people arriving with appointments through my turn, getting their COVID-19 vaccinations. That goal of 6,000 shots a day met and exceeded. Eight weeks in, personalities started to pose challenges, but strong leadership refocused that energy. And I think the mission of vaccinating people and basically saving their lives uh, is what brought everyone together. And that includes important relationships with our Department of Defense partners. Uh, you know, working with FEMA, OES, and, and CAL FIRE, uh, we're here to support them. More than 360,000 vaccinations by the transition date of April 12th is a testament to how well the partnership worked. It's been a magnificent experience. This probably ranks up in probably the top two of the things I've done in my career. In Los Angeles, Sean Boyd for OES News.